We are back 811 with the Today exclusive. Since 1989, the Kennedy family and the JFK Library Foundation have used the Profile and Courage Award to celebrate the qualities President Kennedy admired most. It's given to public servants who've made courageous decisions without regard for personal or professional consequences. And we're so delighted to have Ambassador Caroline Kennedy here and her son, Jack Schlossberg, to announce this year's recipients. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. Good Lots morning. to catch up with you about. I, I hope we have our, our um, drum roll ready, but we're going to let you go, Jack. You're gonna, you guys are going to announce the recipients this year. We have yes. two. Well, let's start with the domestic recipients yes. who won this year's award. Well, this year we're celebrating five state senators from South Carolina, Senators Sen, Sheely, Matthews, McLeod, and Gustafson. Uh, each who took a stand to protect individual rights when the state considered uh, a ban, uh, a total abortion ban. Uh, this is a bipartisan state. group of senators, yes. by the way. Uh, they represent all the female senators in the state Senate. Uh, they're from different political parties, and they have very different views uh, on the issue of abortion. Some are pro-choice and others are pro-life. But they came together and they stuck together, and it wasn't easy. They, uh, they faced personal and political attacks and intense opposition. Um, but they stuck together uh, to protect individual rights. One of the things the award always recognizes is people who take actions that might actually be against their own political incentives. Is yeah. that the case here? Yes, it came at um, great political risk for each of these senators, some of whom are facing primary challenges. So this was not an easy issue for them to take on. Um, but they thought it was important enough uh, to fight. Ambassador Kennedy, you have an international recipient to tell us about, too, actually. Right, right. Well, um, this year we're giving a special international award to President Yoon of South Korea and Prime Minister Kishida of Japan. And um, they both um, put their difficult historical issues aside to pursue closer relationships between their two countries, which are democracies, economic powerhouses, and neighbors, and close allies of the United States. Um, and they, um, the relations had been at a low point, and the, um, President Yoon uh, went out of his way right after his election, faced uh, political opposition at home. Prime Minister Kishida, oh, the same, um, met him more than halfway, and together they forged a new uh, relationship, and, um, and it's in their country's interest and in the U.S. interest as well. And for people who aren't familiar, as familiar with the history there, I mean, I read one analysis said that this meeting, this coming together, was a minor miracle. Right, absolutely. And people here don't understand how di how difficult the relationships can be there um, uh, over many, many years. And um, so it's incredibly courageous. I saw this firsthand when I was in Japan, how difficult and complicated some of these issues are. And they deserve tremendous amounts of credit and they're facing opposition at home, but they did the right thing for their countries. Well, That's what the award is really all about. We're always delighted to have you here. It's our tradition now. You tell us about the profiles and courage. Obviously, the original profile and courage is of your father and what he did you know, in the war. And you guys recently recreated the three-mile swim he took for his life, saving uh, his crewmates, sort of recreated in the right. Solomon Islands. Now you're all, you, you, we talked to you when it happened, you were soaking wet, but here you are. <laughs> so take us inside this moment and what it meant to you. Oh, it was incredible. It's so beautiful there, but I think we were both uh, overwhelmed by the scale and the immensity and the courage that it took for all these young men who were serving so far away from home 80 years ago. And, um, and this was a miraculous rescue. And the people in that community were so welcoming and so proud of the history that our country shares. So it, it meant a lot to us. It's astonishing. I mean, it was a three mile swim, again, for his life that your, your grandfather took. And you took a version of that. Yeah. What goes through your mind when you're retracing those steps? Well, I, I couldn't help but think that I, mean, I wouldn't be sitting here. My mom would not be sitting here for, for the courage of my grandfather and of the Solomon Scouts and Australian Coast Watchers who saved his life. So. That really sunk in when, when we were out in the Solomon Islands. Now, I heard there was a sting. I didn't know if it was a jellyfish or the sting of your mother beating you yeah. in, in the swim. Yeah, I don't know which was more painful. <laughs> um, but it's not, my mom beating me at swimming is nothing that I'm not used oh, to. So. Oh, oh, oh. He is so nice. He always lets me win. He's so good. Well, tell me what's going on with you. You know, I was checking on your law studies. I, I hear you passed the bar. You're about to go practice law? I passed the bar. Um, I'm about to start a new chapter in my life. I can't say exactly what I'm going to be doing next, but I'm very excited to be done with school. Oh, okay. So you're going on American Idol. Got yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> and how about you, Ambassador Kennedy? You're the ambassador to Australia. How has that been? I just told you it's the country of my birth, I so know, I'm very I excited know. So I'm, to meet the ambassador. I'm here. I'm making the round. <laughs> um, I feel connected, but um, it's incredibly interesting time. I'm, I'm so lucky to be serving um, President Biden out there in the Indo-Pacific, and the administration has a huge agenda. There are 
closest ally, uh, along with Japan and Korea. And um, and there's so many important issues. I'm sure the president's going to address them today at the UN. And um, so it's it's an incredibly important time to be there. Clean energy, climate revolution, national security, economics. So it's a lot. Many important issues at the UN this week. A lot of world leaders are there. Jack, I have to ask you, you did post a video. You're obviously your uncle, RFK Jr., is running for president. You posted a video and you were quite critical of him um, and, and some of his views, his standpoints, and the things he said. What led you to do that? Why was it important to you? Are you glad you did it? I'm very glad I did it. I stand by what I said uh, in my video. I love my family and I'm very proud of our legacy of public service, especially my mom. Uh, we're lucky to have her as U.S. ambassador to Australia. Um, but I think Joe Biden is a fantastic president, I think, on every issue from uh, the economy, health care, climate change, civil rights. His record speaks for itself. So everything else. These is were up. harsh words, though, Jack. I mean, you no. said he's using Camelot. He's he's essentially abusing the family name in a way. Well, I think President Biden has done a fantastic job. And I think the issues in this election are way too important for any of us to be distracted. So I stand by what I said in my video. Did you know he was going to send that video? Oh, no. <laughs> Not when he did. <laughs> and is it complicated right now? In, given the situation, you obviously Not are really. great. Not complicated. Not complicated. No? No. Why not? Why not? Um, because I, I, you know, I know what I think. I know what Jack thinks. I know what Bobby Kennedy thinks. And so um, it's not complicated. All right. Thank you so much. Very interesting to hear about the Profile and Courage Awards. Thank Always good to catch us. up with thank both you of you. Us. Keep us posted on your next adventures, wherever they may be. Okay, we will. Ambassador, we will. thank you, you Jack. Can come swimming yeah. with us oh, next time. I mean, I don't want to embarrass myself <laughs> or be seen in a bathing suit, frankly, but that's <laughs> another that story. Was, that was courageous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.